I don't think it's him. Is it? Oh, it is. Oh, it's somebody that was being controlled. Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy you done did it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me. It's like a solar eclipse. I What's up, y'all? Your boy Leon, I'm some cool South African geek. Welcome to my channel. It's Loki, episode two. Man, episode Glorious Purpose, episode one, the premiere, Disney Plus TVA. Damn, MCU at it again. I enjoyed the first episode so much. It was dialogue heavy, but it needed it. We needed to play catch up. We needed a good reason why they haven't been stepping in while well, Thanos and the rest of the problems have been stepping in. You know what I'm saying? And to see that the Infinity Stones are paperweights to them shows that the biggest issues they were going through was just another Tuesday for the TVA. It was all part of the plan. But I'm really enjoying the show. And it's kicking in high gear in the second episode because they told Loki... That his double ganger is the bad guy in this. Let's not waste any more time and just dive right into it. For timeline. Yeah, buddy. Previously on. Like you veer off the Terror track. Strong, oh, Miss Minutes. They giving us the full rundown of the previous episode. Infinity Stones, Paperweights, his death. We all know it's Lady Loki, right? God of mischief to help. Da, da, da. Marvel Studios. Are they at a colony fair? This is present day. It's actually 1985? They dress like people pretending they're in 1985. Hey, it's her. What's her name, Sarah? Oh, it is like... It is like a festival. Who are they tracking now? Damn. What's she about to do? Kill her own team? God damn. That's how Lady Loki gets the upper hand. Damn. They get taken down so easily by her. Why is she taking her? Loki. He's learning. Miss Minutes is his teacher. She's like Jarvis. <laughs> He's getting a costume, a uniform, TVA. <laughs> he still is old, so. God damn. Look how many different Lokis there are. Ooh, look how smart Loki is. So he's always a variant. <laughs> he wants the timekeepers. So they actually look like people dress wrong for the occasion. They're not taking the variant serious, but the variant is serious. It's killing your people. Loki knows Loki. He's got monologues for days of this show. Why is he stalling? <laughs> He's trying to speed up his timekeeper situation. Are they going to show us? The whole situation. Oh, it removes them. Then the sad music kicks in. The office is cool. Because of the dialogue, it does make an issue with the pacing, but I'm still enjoying it. She's the only one who communicates with them. They're already giving him a last chance. That was just one mission. And they were just like taking evidence. He's questioning everything. Mobius seems like he has his own agenda. It's weird seeing Loki feel so powerless. Manipulation at his finest. Why is he confessing that he's 10 steps ahead? Your plan was kind of obvious, Loki. His last chance. Oh, that shot though. Where did they find this architecture? Is it all VFX? God damn, he gotta work and study himself. Who's that behind him? <laughs> He's already done. He's such a big talker. They actually gave him some files. They gave him Loki stuff. The destruction of Asgard. 
I guess he didn't see that the previous episode. Ragnarok. Look at him mourning his people. Is the other Loki trying to save Asgard? Thinking. <laughs> Casey. Oh, I get what he's saying. It's hiding yourself before a natural disaster. <laughs> you always stabs everybody in the back. Italy. Pompeii. Before the volcano. <laughs> Bird noises. <laughs> I bring your dark tidings. He's saying all his lines. They didn't believe him. Now it's going down. He figured it out. It's like... Yes. Four more episodes after this, they need to speed things up. A jet ski? You've been created the TVA. And Magic lizards. Including you. They speak in facts right now. Resist. I mean, existence is chaos. I don't know why I said resistance. He's such a loyal soldier, weird enough. Did he make him realize something? He realized something. Grave's nuts. <laughs> He got it. 2050? He's trying to find a variant. Let him go. And the mission begins. It's kicking up a high gear. <laughs> Class 10 apocalypse. They're all giving him the mean mug. Damn. 2050. So I did hear that right. So all the things we've been seeing in the trailers are the first few episodes. Ooh. That's a dope way to dry out. That was me. <laughs> no, he's going to escape. I to earn that. Oh, ho, ho, that the Loki sees the Loki. Is that the timetable of the tornado? Or tsunami? Or whatever T natural disaster I can name after? <laughs> I don't think it's him. Is it? Oh, it is. Oh, it's somebody that was being controlled? Ho, ho. The smile is everything. God damn. Why the TVA assholes? This is a cool ability. Moving from body to body. Loki talking to Loki is weird. A lieutenant. <laughs> Yo, got charges everywhere. So much is happening right now. Randy's gone? Just pushing Loki around? They fight him with appliances. Damn, Loki getting his ass whipped though. By Loki. This other Loki's playing games with the main Loki. I knew it was Lady Loki. What is this plan? God damn, how many people did she kill to get all these things? Is she yours? A bunch of branch timelines? She's creating the multiverse. God damn. We better not end this way. Follow her. We have to know what's happened. Okay, let's talk about it. So much happened in this episode. It started as a slow burn. Still getting us acclimated with the whole time variant situation. I knew it was female Loki because of the leaked scenes. Behind the scenes we got a long time ago. So that's not a shocker. And I knew we got to get multiple versions of Loki because we saw President Loki in the trailer too. Like some of the stuff I saw coming because of the trailer, some because of the leak B BTS scenes when people thought, oh, no, nah, this is Natasha he's sitting with. Nah, that was Lady Loki. Um, I knew that coming. I'm glad Loki chased after her because we have to figure out what is this Loki trying to accomplish and the fact that she doesn't like being called Loki says something about her also. I feel like she probably did work for the TVA also and the TVA did some fucked up shit. Now she wants them to pay. Probably we're gonna have a whole episode of Loki pretending to be different variant Lokis. He's the variant. That's what the episode is called, right? That was a great episode though. Give it like a 8.5. Like they said, the pacing needs so much work. So yeah, it was a 53 minute episode and it felt longer. Um, 
what else? Mobius seems to be really having a great time working with Loki. He's like most of the TVA thinks Loki's betrayed them, but Loki's trying to figure out what the end game is, and he has his own end game. But he was planning to betray them since he wanted, you know, to take over the TVA from the timekeepers. Hmm. Somehow I feel like the whole timekeeper thing in the MCU specifically could be a lie, could be craving, controlling everything. Like a ruse. You know what I'm saying? Giving them a rule book to follow, like the Bible. I'm not saying the Bible isn't real for religious people. If you believe in it, good for you. Um, I'm just saying <laughs> you that type of I large should I can't speak English now. You get what I'm saying? Like they have set rules that follow a predetermined ending that they don't know is good or not, but they think it's good. They're waiting for the rainbow, the other side of the rainbow. They promised that specifically. That's why they're doing what they're doing. That's why they're working as hard as they work. And that's why they're content with not having lives, with not even being on a jet ski. That's tough. Um, this was a great episode, though. I give it 8.5, like I said. I'm really enjoying Loki. Tell me what you guys think. Comment section is right open. Like. If you like my reaction, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, deuces. I had to drag the mouse so far.